Ever wondered if Muslims can kiss before marriage? Today, we're going to explore this question, touching on the cultural and religious beliefs that surround premarital intimacy in Islam. It's important to remember that the Muslim community is incredibly diverse, with a range of viewpoints and interpretations. So, while we're discussing this subject, let's refrain from stereotyping or making sweeping generalizations. Instead, let's approach this with an open mind and a willingness to learn. Let's delve deeper into understanding the Islamic perspective on this matter. What does Islam say about premarital intimacy? Islam, like many religions, has teachings that guide its followers on matters of intimacy. Central to this discussion are the concepts of halal, which means permissible, and haram, meaning forbidden. According to the Quran and various hadiths, physical intimacy before marriage is considered haram. This is based on the principle of modesty, which is a core value in Islam. It's a way of maintaining respect for oneself and others, and it extends beyond just physical interactions to include thoughts, words, and actions. However, it's important to note that interpretations of these teachings can vary within the Muslim community. Some may adhere strictly to these rules, while others may have a more flexible understanding. There are also different schools of thought within Islam that may offer varying viewpoints on this matter. So, while the general consensus is that premarital intimacy is discouraged, there is room for individual interpretation and understanding. In essence, Islam promotes modesty and discourages premarital intimacy, but interpretations vary. How does culture influence these beliefs? Well, cultural differences can indeed sway interpretations and practices related to premarital intimacy among Muslims. It's vital to remember that while overarching religious teachings exist, individual perspectives and societal norms can shape how these are implemented. Therefore, respect for personal choices and cultural diversity becomes crucial. We need to understand that everyone's journey of faith is unique, colored by their personal experiences and cultural background. Ultimately, the choice remains personal, influenced by one's understanding of their faith and cultural norms.